a UFC heavyweight division collision. excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here too. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing it, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So two years, the gap in age, some differences in height and reach. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the USC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Long Island, New York, USA, Caceres. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. Lee! All right, make the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out for you. Straight right hand now, just misses. Big ball for land. Now he gets back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Just over three minutes to go round one. Look at him chopping the wood. 
chop the wood with those leg kicks. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Looking to land the leg kick now. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And he landed the right hand there. He gets hit with a kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Look at him drive his hand into the front of body with that body. Game of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Harris gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh! <laughs> Lee's kick looked like it might have been a good one, but it gets blocked. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Throws the right hand there. Seconds here in round one. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see what it again in round one. Yeah. Well, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel. He's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Nice punch land over the top. That leg kick. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. That's a big strike right there. Good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Nice loop and punch. Big head kick! Gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Just unable to quite find that range. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. 
Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Nice kick. Oh, nice jab to the dome by Caceres. Man! Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Ten right minutes in the, the books. Right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Swing and a miss with that punch by Caceres. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Back and forth we go here. Lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the early rounds. Head kick. Oh, just misses with the kick. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, you man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Get you, get you. Judges out of it. He is lighting him up now. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. What a punch. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proving prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. All right, throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes, and he's throwing it over and over again. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Big body kick. Waning seconds here of round number three. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, wow. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good ready? previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a Let's very go. competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. We expect the spot to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. That's a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now. He's got to back. Back to the feet. Nice punch. 
punch there by Caceres. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Slips. Pretty significant wealth to the left side. Able to get back to his feet yet again. Oh, but not a good look for the judges here. Look how wobbly he is. Oh, nice. Caceres gets caught with that punch. Nice, sneaky head kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. as he blocks the shot. Strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Right hand on point. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Oh, man, this is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at any You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it come. All right, so a big knockdown in that last round, DC. We'll show you the replay. Nearly had him out of there. He almost had him out. He had him gone. He hurt him real bad. He thought the fight was over. But the night will go on. The dance continues. Will this be the final dance? Last round, guys. You ready? You ready? Fifth and final round, fourth cup. You got to check these low leg kicks. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Counter jab, snaps the head back. That'll get his attention. Oh, head kick blocked, though, by Caceres. Big head kick land. Good punch lands. Another massive head kick lands. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent. Tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Leg kick checked by Caceres. Back to the feet now. Under three minutes remain in this fifth and final round. Oh! Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to fold him. Yep, there absolutely. Oh, big knee! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He hate that kick. He took that whole kick. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. 
way. So have we, your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Well, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. The official decision is in here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliano has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 36 seconds of round number five. Playing the winner by knockout, Bruce. The Dragon! Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also, most times...